Previously on AD Robles. The following video is for entertainment purposes only. Any similarity to actual events is entirely coincidental, but not necessarily unexpected. One day, as I was doing my research into social justice, the Christian church, and Big Eva, my phone rang. I was on a roll and I was too busy to pick up, but it rang again. Reluctantly, I picked up the phone. I didn't recognize the number, but I thought, oh well, I'll just get him to stop calling. Hello? Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Who is this? I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. You better stop what you're doing right now. I'm warning you. I don't know what that means. It means you're on the right track, and I want to stop you. <laughs> stop, stop talking in riddles. You've been warned. Look, if you, unless you're ready to spill the beans and, and talk in a normal voice, I'm not going to pick up the phone anymore. Th thank you for calling. But he didn't stop. This time I picked up and heard him out. He told me that he would send me a series of videos that would okay. explain what's going on with Al Mohler and his phone calls. Oh, I mean, you could have said that from the beginning. He said he had my best interests in mind and he wanted to help me understand what Big Eva was up to. I do. I want to know. I must know. But I was a little uneasy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How, how do I know I can trust you? I never said you could. <laughs> At least tell me your name. Let's just say the diner is packed with rats, snakes, and clock bars. <laughs> but the story didn't end there. This man called me continually. Every now and then, just when I thought I had, I had shaken him, he would give me another phone call. I was busy trying to do my work, busy trying to do my videos, but he would consistently call me with tips, mostly surrounding Doug Wilson, the Fight Laugh Feast Network, and Federal Vision. And I stopped calling here. He was relentless. He would always call at the wrong times and just speak in riddles and nonsense and it was getting very distracting. Look, man, we've been talking all these months and you're still not convinced. You want me to lay it out for you? Look, if you're going to keep calling, I just I just need the real information. You, you, you speak in riddles. I just don't know who this is. Please just 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 lay it all out. All right, Doug James Wilson, born June 18th, 1953, the same day as Ramo Oz, Estonian humorist who violated the Russian government with his radio rendition of May There Always Be Sunshine, There Always Be Smoked Sausages, and that performance was deemed insulting to Soviet youth. Corrupting the youth? Coincidence? I think not. Corrupting the youth has always been a central tenet of Satanism, as you've seen from this article titled After School Satan Programs by the Church of Satan. We'll come back to that in a minute. Ever heard of the Spook Ride Sally Ride? That's the latest attempt by Wilson to attempt to pervert the youth of Christianity with its acknowledgement of sex and sensual lettering on the jacket cover. Speaking of the name Sally, why that name in his book? You think it's just an oopsie, a coincidence? Ever hear of Sally Ann McNelly? Sally Ann McNelly, in November 1988, her body was found in an apparent murder connected to the satanic cult that she herself participated in. Only a few months later, Doug Wilson released his very first publication on creation. Are you starting to put the pieces together? Creation was a central theme in the original the, uh, the original Federal Vision meeting in January 2002, Auburn Avenue Presbyterian Church in Monroe, Louisiana. January 2002, that was the same month that merely miles away from Monroe, a ta an entire town met to cast Satan out of their midst. Mayor Inglis, Mayor of Inglis, Florida, clearly sensing trouble that Doug Wilson brought to the area, said this, Satan, ruler of darkness, giver of evil, destroyer of what is good and just, it is not now, nor ever again, will be part of this town. That was Mayor Carolyn Reicha, standing against Satan and his proxy, Federal Vision, back in 2002. Reicha, R, Carolyn, C, R, C, get the picture? Well, let me spell it out for you. Your cult leader, Doug Wilson, will be in Franklin, Tennessee. Do you remember that article on after-school Satan programs? That's the same article that references Franklin, Tennessee's school district. Hmm. Doug Wilson will be in that same Franklin, Tennessee on October 1st, the first day of the most satanic month in the calendar. Not only was Satanism founded in October, but Anton LaVey, the founder of Satanism, died in October. 
the same month that the Fight Laugh Feast Conference is being held. Do I need to spell it out for you even more? Fight, F, Laugh, L, F, Feast, F, F, L, F, Franklin, LaVey, Federal Vision, Satan. You're in a cult, man, a satanic cult. How many coincidences do I have to coincidences do I have to point out before you will see the truth? I've drawn a straight line from Doug Wilson's birth to the Fight Laugh Feast conference on Thursday. What are you going to do about it?